Hey, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double. We are in the penultimate shear of Masechah Shabbos. We finished today Masechah Nadarim and Daf Yomi. Tomorrow we'll be finishing Masechah Shabbos and Mishnah Yomi. Interesting how they overlap kind of. Mishnah Beis in Perak of Dalin. Matir and Pekei Amir Lifnei Behema. Let's say you have, you know, animal food or something like that, some straw or something like that, and it's tied up. So you can untie it, you can crush it up. In order that the animals will eat them. A fasten is a keepin. Avalois has zirin. Keepin are moist branches. And if you don't uh, scatter them, they can't be eaten. It's too much, claw, you know, it's too big for the animal to eat. So you have to do the tirka, whatever is necessary to that eat it. Avalois has zirin. Zirin are, we talked about before, the straw we are talking about before. All you have to do is untie it. Once you untie it, straw just, you know, is dispersed. And, in front of the animal, so therefore you can't um, spread it out because just by untying it, it'll be spread out already. It's extra tircha, extra tircha is not allowed on Shabbos. We'll talk about an ian mitzia and the malacha involved. Uh, sorry, I'm asking lois has shachas. You can't crush shachas is stubble. You can't crush it because you can't eat the stubble as it. You have to crush it. Uh, I'm sorry, you could eat shachas as it is. Therefore, you can't crush it. Caribs also could be eaten, you don't have to crush them up, you even raw, bain daka, bain gasa, whether it's a, an animal, which is a small animal, let's say like a goat, or a big animal, like a cow. Rabbi Huda Matir, Rabbi Huda Ladaka, Rabbi Huda says, you're allowed to do Karuvin Ladaka, or small animal, because it's hard for them to eat it. We pass, you know, the, like Rabbi Huda, even though they can eat all the ayahs, it's difficult for them, so therefore you allow them to eat it like that, you're not allowed to crush it up. The crushing up is normally the malacha of tochen, crushing a banana or something like that. We'll talk about that in Ian Metzion. Gimel, in you can't stick food into the camel's mouth to the point where it can't regurgitate it. Below dorsen, you can't crush the food. But you could put it in the camel's mouth where it could swallow it. By pushing it all the way down its 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 um, throat, that's like force feeding it. It's something you would do in the zoo or something like that, a commercial place, not for an animal in your house. Same thing you can't for calves, you can't stick food down their throat. But you could put it in their mouth where they could possibly regurgitate it. Malahakin will turn a golem. And same thing for chickens. The same halacha, you have to put it in their mouth. But not to the point where they can't regurgitate it. Minos and Maimla, Morsan, if you have Morsan, which is animal fodder, and it's inedible, unless you put water, you're allowed to mix it with water, which is lisha. Avalo golem, but you can't mix it well together. You can't put water um, to feed bees or um, doves that are in a shovach, in a, a coop, a chicken coop, which are a bird coop, where, you know, you have to do malacha, you have to do tircha, and the reason you can't do it for the, for these types of for bees, because the bees don't belong to you, their their food is not dependent on you, so you don't have to feed them, even a little tircha is not allowed. However, geese and chickens that do belong to you, and also um, doves that are, that grow up in your house, in your barn, so then they, you are responsible to feed them, so you're allowed to do a little bit of tircha. Even tircha that involves malacha, you're allowed to do it because it's for your personal benefit. It's not a commercial activity. We'll talk more about this in Iyam coming up next.